Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, they have given in a two dimensional flow, the screen function is tan inverse y by x. You have to find the velocity potential. So, this stream function is taken as an imaginary part of the analytic function, which is v, that is tan inverse y by x, and we have to find the real part u, that is the velocity potential. So, as a first part, we are going to find its partial derivative with respect to x. Tan inverse derivative is 1 by 1 plus x square, but instead of x, we have y by x. So, 1 by 1 plus y by x whole square. So, I write the formula here. When we have tan inverse x, its derivative is 1 by 1 by 1 plus x square. But in place of x, we have y by x. So, y by x whole square. Again, this y by x, we have to find its derivative. But since we are doing partial derivative with respect to x, y is a constant and apart from y, y by x is y into 1 by x. So, we have to find the derivative of 1 by x which is minus 1 by x square. So, as an next part, we have to find v x of z comma 0, wherever x is there, we have to put z, wherever y is there, we have to put 0. When I put 0 here, the whole term becomes 0. Now, we find v y again 1 by 1 plus y by x whole square. Now it is a partial derivative with respect to y. So x is a constant. So 1 by x is a constant and y derivative is 1. And here v y of z comma 0 becomes, when y is 0 here, this entire term becomes 0. So this term becomes 1 by 1 alone, which is 1. And this becomes z. So totally this is 1 by z. So we have vx and vy of z comma 0. Now f of z is u plus iv. So f dash of z is ux plus ivx. But we have only vx and vy. So using CR equation ux equal to vy and uy equal to minus vx. So this ux can be replaced with vy. So then f dash of z becomes vy plus i into vx. vy we got as 1 by z. So f dash of z but before that we have to use milne thompson method and get f of z which is integral v y of z comma 0 dz plus i integral v x of z comma 0 dz. So, v y becomes 1 by z. So, integral 1 by z dz plus i integral v x we got it as 0. So, the whole term is 0 and we have plus c. So, this integration is log z plus c. So, we got the analytic function, but we have to get u from this, which is the real part. So, z we are going to replace it as r into e power i theta. Now, using log rule, we split this into log r plus log e power i theta. Again, using power rule of the log, this i theta, we can bring it here. So, it is i theta log e and log e is 1. So, finally, this is u plus i v, which is log of r is root of x square plus y square. Whenever we have z, which is x plus i y, modulus of z is r, which is root of x square plus y square. This we replaced it. And log e is 1. And this becomes i into theta. And theta we can replace. That is from this the argument theta is tan inverse real imaginary, sorry, imaginary part by real part. So when we replace and this can be rewritten as log of x square plus y square whole power half plus i into tan inverse y by x. Theta is replaced as tan inverse y by x. 
so u plus i v now taking the real part this becomes log of x square plus y square whole power half and using the power rule this half can be written here so half log of x square plus y square so in the question they have asked for the velocity potential and hence the velocity potential is half log of x square plus y square